You are live. Give me a five uh, when I hit five. Yep. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel, where hot rodding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. You all know what it's time for. It's time for do-it-yourself budget hot rodding and do-it-yourself budget hot rodding. Today, we are going to be doing a quick oil change to Project Lena. Um, so if you're just joining us in this first few moments, this is Project Lena. That is Project Spirit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Project Lena is definitely due for an oil change. She's been due for a little while. Um, Hello, Hector. What's going on, Hector? So... Uh, real quick to kind of give you guys an idea, Project Lean is what I, uh, what a lot of us call a low slung car, and I tried to get under there to start testing to see what size uh, wrench I was going to need, and I didn't get that far. <laughs> Project Lean is really low to the ground. Spirit, I can crawl under her and work on her all day long, uh, no jack required a lot of times. So... Uh, as a matter of fact, I had to get out Spirit's uh, floor jack that I use when I do have to jack her up for anything. I don't use that thing very often. I bought that thing for like, what, 50 bucks, and I was glad I did it. Uh, I thought it was a trade. It might have been a trade. Heck, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, no, it was a, it was a gift from... Yep. Yeah, the from old neighbors. They, old neighbors. They didn't need it. Old, old neighbors, like... Way back. Ten when. neighbors ago. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that is the plan right now as it stands. Uh, we're going to get under Lena as soon as I finish this smoke. Uh, along with that, while I'm at it, I better pop her hood. Do do. Hood pop. Which is Hi, no Sean. Funny. Every once in a while, I'll get the two cars confused. Yeah, I can see how you would do that. Sean's here. Hey, Sean. Uh, it's really because Lena, you have to go inside and pop her hood from in there with spirit. So everybody can see the engine base, which she needs a cleaning bad, bad. That's looking filthy, nasty, and disgusting. While I'm at it, I'm gonna take a look at something. Okay, but we could do something about that while we're here. Okay, yeah, it's due. It's due, but we can we can stretch it a little bit longer. Um, every couple of months, I recommend uh, getting out your PCV filter, even if you're not changing it right away. So some brake cleaner. And you can see all the nastiness coming right off. They're a cheap item. They're easy to replace. But they're also easy to just maintain. Yeah, they're easy to maintain as well. Well put, honey. And this will evaporate and won't hurt a dang thing. Brake cleaner, carburetor cleaner, either one will do the job. We'll install them to the engine. And that's it. It's good for a while. <coughs> if those do get clogged, it'll cause you to start blowing gaskets. And it'll actually start forcing oil up through the uh, uh, through the intake, out through the throttle body into the air filter box. So you'll take your air filter box off, and you'll see all this oil inside there. It'll look like one of those old uh, oil-soaked filters from back in the day. You know how and back in the day we used to have a an air filter that uh, you would you would put an oil on, and it would catch all the dirt coming through. Um, and it'll look like that, but only nastier. Because we got pa disposable paper uh, air filters. So uh, right now, part of what we're gonna be doing 
is uh, Spirit will not be, we won't be doing anything to Spirit today. But over here on Lena, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to get up underneath her, change her oil, which is what all of this is for. And all the, all the different uh, box wrenches or spanners, as some people might say in foreign countries, from the United States. Uh, spanners is good. I like, I like that term, spanners. Anyhow, I can't remember what size. I can tell you it's going to be metric. That's the best I can tell you. So that is our plan. I'm going to get up under there, find out what size wrench, put everything in place, and take that, uh, take that one piece off. Uh, then I've got to get to her oil filter, take that off, and just like we normally do with like Project Spirit, the same uh, the same principles apply on Lena. It's just it's a little bit different because she's a newer vehicle. I mean, there's not much difference, but there is a little bit of a difference. Over here on Spirit, she requires um, a total of five quarts, and that's one extra quart for her oil filter. Over here on Lena, it's going to be about the same. Spirit will take uh, SAE 30. You can play around with that. Uh, you can go up to, uh, you can put heavier, you know, even, even thicker oil in there, and you you can run some decent thick multi-grade oils. Over here on Lena, what the factory requires is that's it. You don't you don't play with that, okay? You don't you can't play with that. You'll mess it up. Uh, the oil ports in here are smaller, and the thicker oil will gum everything up. It's just not a good thing. So that's where it gets a little bit different. So without further ado, let's get up underneath Lena. I've got a jack underneath her. Put it on the frame, okay? Put it on the frame. Uh, which for Lena, she has a subframe. So I've got it underneath where the actual frame connects into the body on the body rails. So that is where the jack is on Project Lena. And I only have to go, I don't even have to take her off the ground. I've just got to get her up enough where I can slide under and begin working. And that's all I need. Which I might have to go a little bit more than that. This is not for claustrophobic people either. So if you're claustrophobic, you may not want to attempt this uh, project on your own. I'm going to guess, and I'm probably going to say it's either going to be a 14 or a 16. If I remember, it's going to be in that ballpark area. Okay, 14 is too small. Yep, I was right, it was 16. So, I'm gonna leave the 16 up underneath. Again, for the record, I am not a huge fan of American cars having metric size, uh, metric size wrenches. I'm not a fan of that. I don't think that American cars should have anything like that. Um, Anytime I find a metric bolt on spirit, which it's rare, but it does happen from time to time, uh, immediately I pull that bolt off and replace it with an SAE. Mike G says, hi. How you doing, Mikey G? So, as best as Princess Faye will be able to show without, uh, because she does not like, like getting under cars. She's kind of claustrophobic on that. Yep. Which is why I usually am the one who does this stuff. Yep, and if you don't, if you can't do it, I take it to wall fart. Right. I got to slide up underneath here. Yeah, Chairman, that's a great idea. Chairman says you need to find a wrench set that's dual purpose with both metric and standard bits. Right, but they Mike, do have them. Mike G says uh, that he is good. Good. Well, isn't that interesting? Please, no cussing. No, no, I'm not cussing. Okay. Huh. 
do do. Huh. It might actually be SAE. I think at one point it was metric, but I feel like you might have switched it to a... Might have swapped it over. That's always a possibility with me. Or it's a 15, which makes it really interesting. All what, right. what I mean is find a wrench, wrench set that does both with the same wrench will work with both metric and standard with the same wrench. We might just be able to do that. Could you keep an eye on the chat for me? Uh, baby, is... Is that bolt usable with the new socket that I got you? That's what we're going to find out. Okay. We're going to sit here and stare at this thing of oil. That's the kind of oil I take. Lena takes. I don't take oil. I take soda. I require soda to live. She needs oil. And a bath. And maybe a new clear coat. And new headlights. She needs a lot, actually, now that I think about it. She needs a lot. She needs more. She's pretty, though. I'm sitting in the shade. I don't want to get out into the sun. It's too hot. Yep, I don't think I could get under there. I'd probably freak out. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there it is. He found it. I have three people and four likes. But I don't know if the thingy is accurate, but I'm going to assume that it is. All right. Beloved has returned. Hello to the fourth person that just arrived. Even though you haven't said anything, I know you are here. Hey, a fifth like. We stared at the oil. <laughs> Stared at the oil, huh? Yep. Well, let's see how this goes. Unbelievable. Did it work? Yeah. Yay! I'm so happy that that socket works for you, love. That makes me happy. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's kind of I mean, hard it... to do though, Chairman. I try. I'm going to be getting a new one anyways, so. What's up? Uh, he was saying to keep the license plates out of view. Oh. All right, oil's draining. Would Where you like to... Drag the camera over there to sh see if you could sh yeah, hang show on a it. second. Oh, you've got dirty hands. He's got dirty paws now. Yeah. How long do you require the oil to drain? Okay. That depends. It depends on the thickness, the temperature of the weather outside. What I will show you is I wait until it comes to just a drip, drip, drip. Okay? It's got to be dripping very slow. That's a neat little socket. Let me drag that out so I can show everybody. Yeah. What they call the gator grip socket. All right? First time I've ever used anything like this. And I've seen these things for years, but basically it adapts to the size of uh the bolt you're working on so this is the first time i've ever used this thing and uh the place that i bought it from labeled it as uh the the magic socket <laughs> yeah and that socket actually does work for both metric and 
uh, SAE. SAE. Yep. So, ta-da. I'm really glad that that works for you. I was <clears throat> impatient, wanted... impatiently waiting for you to get a chance to use it. So we just did a tool review as well. <laughs> okay. Clean that off. And that's the, the bolt. This is the drain plug bolt that goes into Lena. Now, when this eventually wears out, she'll start leaking um, and we'll have to replace it. And what is that that you're pointing at? It's just a rubber gasket, mm -hmm. just a black rubber gasket. Um, it looks like it's still brand new. So I think I've still got some life left in it. Yep. Some people will run these to the point that they, they do bad things to them. So they do wear out occasionally, <laughs> but this looks amazing still. And that you see where we've had some problems and you see a little scarring from uh, where it's been rounded off a little bit. So this actually dealt with the fact that this is a little rounded off and it, I mean, it gripped it extremely well. I could, yeah, I cannot get over that. And I've always thought stuff like this was just a gimmick. So uh, for those of you out there that do mechanic stuff, you might want to invest. I wonder if they come in different sizes, because obviously that only works for specific sizes. Uh, from it, it works with your standard sizes with both SAE and uh, metric. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's not going to work for a lug nut, obviously. I wonder if they make one big enough for a lug nut. I would want, I would imagine they would. And that's just an example. I know that they make special sockets just for lug nuts, but. All right, let me take you guys under and I'll show you what we're talking about. Okay. I'm going to run up and start my drawing and just come grab me when you're ready to do more, okay? Are you okay with that? Okay, honey. Okay. All right. If you could see right there how the oil is still draining out slowly, okay? That's not what we're looking for. We want it to be in a, a real, I mean, where there's like, there's like several seconds between the drips, okay? We want as much of that oil out before we move on. Now, when we go to move on, we're gonna move right up into that tunnel area right there, and uh, that's where the oil filter is. So, we have to change out the oil filter, and you can see how nasty that oil has gotten. That is not what we want, okay? See how it's slowly dripping? Give it about another few minutes. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light up the smoke, and we're going to let that drain for another couple of minutes. By the time I finish my smoke, that'll be ready to move and we can install the plug right away. Okay. And then the next stop, like I said, is the oil filter. And then once we do all that, change the oil and the filter, the next part of this process will be to go up top and fill it back up. So it's ridiculously easy. It is a little time consuming if you do it right. And that's not a joke. You want to do this right. Um, I've seen people do some ridiculous things when it comes to doing uh, when it comes to doing an oil change. The first thing that they do, uh, I've seen people do an oil change and not change the oil filter. That's bad stuff. That's bad juju. Okay, because you still got a dirty filter in there. Then I've seen people uh, do something totally crazier than that. I've seen them uh, drain the oil out, change the filter on it, and then they'll put the old oil back in the car. What the fuck? <laughs> you know? So that is just as bad, okay? Oh, you're live on... I couldn't even fully see that. Well, thank you, Ray. Hang on. I thought... That doesn't look right. Okay. So you're over on Twitch. So, th um, so this is just an idea to give you an idea. We're going to get, uh, basically, as soon as I light this, as soon as I finish this smoke, we're going to go back under there and we're going to start removing some other stuff. But I want to basically, I want to wait till that drains and then I'm going to reinstall the, uh, the, the drain plug. And then once the drain plug is installed, we're going to put it back in and then we're going to change, uh, take off the old oil filter. I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, a new one up for Lena 
it's going to be easy. Real easy stuff. It's about as easy as it gets. Really, it is. Um, I kind of put the jack on the wrong side, so it's going to be where I have to slide along the front of her nose. Uh, but it's still not going to be that hard. I mean, it just means I got to slide a little further in a different direction. That's it. You guys learn anything? For those of you who decided, I know a lot of people have said because of, uh, you know, in the gaming community now uh, that the Prince Magnum channel has given them the idea to start expanding into doing uh, their own project cars. So if this is a, if this helps you guys along the way, that's even better. While we're also waiting and seeing what's going on, uh, let's go ahead and compare engine bays. Pop. Good old Spirit. That is her uh, inline six, uh, a 250 cubic inch inline six. If you want that in liters, that'll be four, uh, 4 4.1 liters, okay? So that's a pretty good size six cylinder. Over here uh, with Project Lena, she has what they call the 3400 series or 3.4 liter uh, V6. So a little bit smaller. Fuel injected. Oh, yeah, that was a sweet uh, win earlier. We pulled that, uh, pulled that out of nowhere. So that is, uh, this is fuel injected. Over here on Spirit, carbureted still. Still a carbureted engine. Lena gets around close to 30 miles to the gallon, give or take. Okay. Close to 30 miles to the gallon. 40. 40 miles average on the highway. Not bad. So. Oh, and if Ian is lurky turkey, because I know this is his favorite project car, spoiler alert. There we go. I got to touch up my blue paint on there. About that time. Oh, and real quick, fiberglass hood. That was actually like that when we got the car, but that's a fiberglass hood. You can see where it's cracking. We're gonna have to repair that at a later date. That or we might even see about swapping this hood out and putting a, a steel one on there and then put a, a, a scoop on there. With Spirit, we're beginning to look at doing a, a custom uh, six on well, uh, a custom V8 under the hood. Here I am about to say six. <laughs> we got our six cylinders, you know, and uh, she runs uh, the old engine still runs good, but it's not going to last forever and it's getting harder and harder to find those parts. So I got to be pragmatic about it. There's a video that we did where we changed that out. There you go. That's what's up, chairman. That still looks pretty good. It's been on there for a couple years now. Still looks pretty decent. That's a brand new exhaust manifold. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys the old one that was on there. That's the old exhaust manifold right there. They used to have these horrible tubes. It helped run the EGR equipment. So after removing this, because it was starting to leak and everything. Oh, that's what's up. We, um, it was starting to leak and everything. So we got rid of this and put something a little less restrictive on there and something that doesn't leak. We put a brand new exhaust manifold on there. And boy, she runs pretty damn smooth like that. I mean, look, look at that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that thing was a mess. Oh, I'm almost done with my smoke, so I'll need Princess Faye to come down here in just a moment. And, uh,
We should be getting to that point. Again, this is Project Lena for 3.4 liter V6 automatic transmission, four speed automatic to be precise. Um, here's the tube that we had to replace. And I got to trim it down a little bit. But uh, what ended up happening was it slipped off and rubbed against here and it busted a hole in this line and sprayed coolant everywhere. And I had to go rescue Princess Faye because that line busted. Uh, it's a little too long for my liking, so I'm going to have to trim it down just a smidgen. We might do that in this particular live stream where I cut it down maybe, you know, about an inch or two. Uh, so it uh, sits a little bit more... Um, so it sits a little bit more like it's supposed to. But yeah, this is uh, this is Princess Faye's project car. That's starting to leak, so it's going to be about time for me to look at getting a new uh, reservoir. Uh, she does on occasion. She does on occasion. She streams uh, her drawings. So. But if my honey will come back down, I might have to go back up and get her. Yeah, I may have to go back up. So, uh, that is where we are at. So, it's that time. We got to get back under there and start putting this, uh, finishing this project out. Too long from here. For those of you who are excited. You ready, Freddy? Okay. I thought you were in the stream, but it heard me say, get out of there. No, I was focusing on the drawing. Okay. I understand. Okay, I will turn it back over to you. Sit back down in my shady spot. Hello again, I have returned. Okay. Oh yeah, we pretty well got it all out of there. That's what I wanted to see. So we're gonna reinstall the drain plug. What's up? Uh, I was just reading the chat. I do sometimes stream my drawings, Chairman. Uh, when I get back up there, I will post a link um, to my channel. It's hard to see you're in the shadows. Who's in the shadows? You is. You in the shade. You being shady. <laughs> I think I'm wanting to do um, Wednesday for the drawing if you were interested, Chairman. Wednesday. There we go. All righty, now the fun part finding. Is that oil on your hand, or did you hurt yourself? Oil. Okay. What do you need, baby? I help. I gotta get to her oil filter. Hello, third gen 83. Hey, what's going on, third gen? I'm gonna raise her up just a couple more. That should do it. <sighs> Here's an old, uh, here's an oil filter wrench that I found worked the best. Got it at Walmart, and I've used this thing numerous times over the years. It's been a very good oil filter wrench. Grabs onto it and just locks on tight. I like it. That's all that matters. Yep. Where did I just put that thing? You got it. Yep. Won't need this anymore. The drain plug's back in place. That's not a lot of oil, is it? Nope. Was I low on oil? A little bit. 
not bad. Remember, she doesn't hold a lot to begin with. True, I guess. I'm used to doing this from the other side, but I made the noob mistake. Oh, I apologize. Third Gen says getting ready to go out and work on my project. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm not very good at following chat, I guess. Sorry. It's okay, baby. Nobody's perfect. Oh, there's a stray kitty. Well, I nailed that on. You didn't drip it on your face, did you? No, no, I didn't. Okay, good. Ooh, the sun got blocked by a cloud momentarily. Ew, is that my oil filter? Yep. Ew. I can't zoom in, but it's right there. Here, yeah, hang on. Ah, oh, much better. Thank you. See, if I was a professional, I'd have done that right at the start. <laughs> I don't know why, but that makes me sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, sorry. All right, and here's our new oil filter. Okay. Side by side, you can tell they're brand new. I know it's brand new. <laughs> yeah, it's clean for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now the first part of this is going to look a little strange. All right? Oh, do you have to finger it? Yeah. Okay, he has to finger it. Put this right here. Lock the plate a little bit. We're going to take our, uh, our new oil filter. We're going to put the old one in its box. These can be recycled. Just like with Project Spirit, you take brand new oil. Without dumping it, preferably. There yeah. you go. Put that on your finger, dab it on there, just like that. Now, do you specifically have to dab, or can you go shoomp? However you want. I always found that dabbing puts enough on there, and that helps it seal. And once you do that, Obviously, clean your hands off. Recap, okay, the jug. The reason why we do that is I have had in the past where uh, I ended up having to go and buy an extra quart of oil because I've accidentally dumped my jug over on the side. I did that years ago. And ever since then, I've always just taken the extra step of recapping. So I would suggest doing the same. Okay, now explain why you put the oil on the rim there. Well, that actually helps the oil, uh, the gasket seal, okay? Do you know the scientific reason why? No. <laughs> I, it, I guess that's just the way the rubber is made. Works for me, I don't know. I, I was legitimately asking. <laughs> now, Project Lena is almost, if it wasn't for her exhaust manifold being exactly where it is, uh, it would be ridiculously easy to get up uh, uh, and do this from the top, but the way she's made, forget it. So, back under we go. Ooh, in the shadows again. Getting it okay, baby? Yeah. You look very comfortable. No, I'm not. Which brings me to another cardinal rule of doing this. Make sure you do not cross thread. Check to make sure that the gas the old gasket is completely off, which you did that and reinstall 
Manufacturers recommend hand tight. However, I have done the hand tight thing. It never goes well. Take your oil filter wrench, reapply, and give it a light torque. Just a real light one, okay? I've had in the past where brand new oil filters put it on hand tight and it backed off a little bit and became extreme, it just started leaking oil everywhere. So that is bad news. So do not do that to yourself. Just give it a light snug. <clears throat> After that, it'll snug itself up the rest of the way. And now, we can take a look at Lena's oil, the old oil. The drain plug is in place, but this is her old oil. Ew, it looks like chocolate syrup. It does. Uh, Not good, that chocolate syrup isn't either. Good news. One of the things that I do is that I will look at the old oil. All I see is your usual bubbles. Uh, that doesn't mean diddly dick. Uh, but the good news is looking inside of here, everything looks good. There is no metal shavings that I could see. There's no discoloration that says like there's antifreeze or anything else in there that shouldn't be in there. It's just motor oil. That's what we want to see. So this means that Lena's engine is still very healthy. And that's good news for us because I don't feel like doing an engine swap right just yet on Lena. So there you have it. That is the bulk of it. Now we're gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna grab our jug of oil. You might wanna, and I'm gonna come over here to Spirit and get her oil, uh, her funnel out. I keep a funnel underneath the hood of Spirit. And if you've got enough room in your engine bay, I recommend the same. Uh, I'll wipe it out because nasty stuff will get down in there. And we just did all that work to put clean oil in there. Now we're going to put dirt back in. No, don't do that. So we're going to pop this loose. Pop. It didn't pop. I'm it didn't looking pop. inside. Everything just shows your standard oil tarnish. As best you can see in there. So that means that her engine is still very, very healthy. That is good news. Um, yep. So that means everything still looks good in there. I'm happy with that. Which eventually I want to get one of those cameras that goes down inside. And I can Ooh, actually... that would be so cool. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? All right. We already did this part. A little secret. Pour, do not pour this way or this way. It's easier to control. Yep. No leaking. Almost looks like maple syrup. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to eat it. Yummy. Oddly, <gasps> one of the most satisfying things you're ever going to see. If you're a mechanic. <laughs> it's a very pretty amber color. It really is. Now, some people will take the funnel out and put the, the, the opening of the jug into the thing. Is that something that you do or recommend? Or does it not matter? It doesn't matter. Say it louder for everybody. It doesn't matter. <laughs> See, you helped. 
patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the fun part. Over here. Hopefully without making a big giant mess. Um. What was it? What? I just don't know if that's a good spot. It'll be fine. Because uh, oil drips there anyways from other vehicles. Oh, well, I guess. But hopefully I don't make a mess so I won't even have to even discuss that. Oh, God. The definition of anxiety in <laughs> this current situation. If I pull this off, it'll be the first time in a live stream or even recorded. I didn't make a mess trying to do this. Don't jinx yourself. I saw that oil pop up. I'm so glad I brought this thing home for you. Yep. Cheapest oil pan I've ever had, and it works. It's the cheapest. It was free. <laughs> right, right. We'll let that drain down. And then take this up and clean it out real good. It'll be just fine. But I am going to set it off the side in the grass because grass soaks up oil very well. Uh, oil change is done. Sort of. Lena is getting some age on her. We're going to take his cap back off. I'm going to come over here. You all been wondering what this little jug is. This is Marvel's mystery oil. We don't need a lot with Lena, but a little bit goes a long ways with her. And, and that is legit. About that much is all we're going to need. We're going to let that drain down for just a moment. We're going to go in. We're going to start her up. We're going to let her run. Make sure everything is in order. Would you like to explain why you put the mystery oil in there? The Marvel's mystery oil. Okay. Now, I know some modern mechanics and even a certain other mechanic on YouTube doesn't recommend it for old cars. He doesn't recommend it for any vehicle. But it's been around since the 1930s. What it does is it's an oil base that likes to bond to metal parts. And by it doing that, um, it keeps, it, it helps with wear and tear. In other words, it slows it down. Project Lena is a, like a lot of American V6s and four cylinders. She's getting some engine clatter in that top end of her engine. This is just simply because of the fact that she's getting old. She's coming up on, uh, I believe about 200,000 uh, I already hit 200,000 miles. Okay, so she's, she's over 200,000 and is slowly catching up to spirit. So now that I've said that, bear in mind, it just makes sense to give Project Lena all the help she can get to make sure that she doesn't, you know, that she lasts a while. So, all right, we've given her long enough for my liking. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit the key. Well, we're going to take her down from the jack. weird to see a car move without it being moved. Or not moved, but on, I mean. Right. And I've used this jack a few times on Spirit, quite a few times on Lena, because as you can tell, as I said earlier in the stream, she's a low slung car, so she definitely uh, needs, you know, she, anytime I have to do anything to her, let's get up on, you know, let's get the jack out. I hate that. I'll make her wear heels next time.
very happy with that. Very happy with that. If you want to take the camera, I'll clean up for you. Okay. So there you have it. One quick oil change. Yeah, we take more time than the shops actually do. The shops will get you in and out in about a half an hour. And that sounds nifty in theory, but the problem is, is when you take your time like this, you get a more consistent oil change. Um, the problem with uh, trusting the shops is they're in a hurry. They got to get you in and out, okay? That's how they make their money on those oil changes. They have to get you in and out and down the road. And the uh, this sometimes leads to nasty habits that the shop will do. I've seen shops that have forgotten to put the oil back in, forgotten to put the uh, the oil filter. I've seen them where they have actually uh, um, forgot to put the drain plug in. Um, just bad stuff like that because they are in a hurry. So, so do yourself a favor and make sure that you take the time if you're going to especially if you're going to do it yourself or take it to a shop yeah you're going to pay a little bit more if they take their time but i'd rather pay a little bit more take my time than that you can throw away that just uh set in that tub right there and i'll deal with it but i would rather a shop take their time than uh than cost me you know you know an engine because some of the shops, they'll be like, well, it, it was, a, you know, they won't, they won't back their own work. Some of those oil chain shops I've seen won't back their work. So do yourself a favor. Don't get caught like that, okay? Do not get caught like that. So we put in, uh, we put in a good stream. Do you, any of you out there have any questions on this? Any questions whatsoever? Again, the oil we used and Project Lena is just an off-the-shelf uh, store brand from Rural King. And Rural King uh, provides very good motor oil. Uh, the, it's the only oil Project Spirit likes. And if it's the, uh, and Princess Faye is one, if it works for Project Spirit, uh, the same brand will work for Lena. It is a conventional oil, but it still has the, the proper detergents in it. So... It's one of those things that, believe me when I say, you know, getting a good, reasonable, a lot of those tractor supply places really do provide good oil at a reasonable price. So if you can get your hands on a good tractor supply place or a good farm supply place, they'll provide the really good oil. They have to because farm trucks, farm trucks, and these things, uh, these farm trucks go through a lot of abuse. So it's got to be good quality oil. It, it has to be. And that was Spirit's Hood. <laughs> So, any questions so far? I am having a wonderful Sunday, Warrior Grandma. Uh, we just did an oil change on Project Lena, uh, my wife's 2003 Pontiac Grand Am GT. Uh, that is Project Lena. Uh, she needed an oil change, and I thought I'd show you guys how ridiculously easy it is to do it on a modern car. It really is as easy as it gets. Now, and I say modern, to me, any car after the year 1996 to current date is modern, okay? Anything before that, uh, I know I know enough about that it's probably kind of spooky. In some cases, I might even know more than the, uh, than the manufacturer. So, now that I've said that, uh, Project Lena now has a fresh oil change in her. She runs very smooth. We even added a little bit of Marvel's Mystery Oil. Come tomorrow, uh, we're going to, before uh, Princess Faye takes Project Lena to work, I will have to get out there and check the oil and make sure everything is in order. Make sure that it's at the level I'm very happy with. If it's not low, we won't add any, but if she's low, I'll top it off and make sure that everything's hunky-dory. Okay, it's super important that you take good care. Taking good care of your vehicle means that it's going to last you a long time. And Project Lena is being a more modern car. Yep, 
Project Lean is purring like a kitten. I'm very happy with that. That's what I want. I want that car to be running smooth as, you know, just smooth as silk, okay? And in order to do that, you have to maintain them. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're just doing a, a uh, if your project car is, if you will, uh, just for looks, it doesn't matter. It's still got to have a, a, a smooth running engine. The last thing you want is be on the way to a car show and have that thing go, pl 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 <coughs> and it's done. Hmm. So that is what is going on with that. So Project Lena runs pretty damn good right now. Having a little bit of trouble starting, but she's getting due where I'm going to be basically taking some stuff off, cleaning it out real good. We'll be breaking out the carburetor cleaner and cleaning everything and seeing if that does any good. If that doesn't do it, then we're back to where it is a catalytic converter issue, uh, which Project um i'm not a big fan of the indianapolis 500 i have a lot of respect for those types of drivers but it's not really my grab uh i have a lot of respect for those drivers that uh run the indianapolis 500 and nascar ironically enough and i don't like watching nascar but i'll tell you all right now i have nothing but respect for those drivers those drivers have to be really good at what they do they also have, it is also very physically taxing Uh, it's very physically taxing to uh, those drivers. Uh, those drivers that run the Indianapolis 500 and NASCAR, uh, their bodies are under a lot of G-force, so they have to stay in very good shape. They cannot be in bad shape. Um, even, uh, you know, drivers on the drag strip, same exact thing. Uh, they have to be in good physical condition because that G-force will push down on the chest and it'll mess with your heart a little bit, so. But you'll have to tell me who wins. I, I haven't kept up with uh, the Indianapolis 500 in years. I, I just got bored with it. Uh, I One of my favorite racers from back in the day was Al Unser Jr. And he was very, very good. He even had his own video game back in the 1980s on the NES. Al Unser Jr.'s Turbo Racing. Damn good game. So... Uh, as soon as I finish up this smoke, I'm going to knock off for a little while. Uh, later on tonight, we will be doing another stream, and that stream will involve uh, doing up some salad. Uh, so we're going to make some salad. Uh, we're going to make a special salad that we've done before on the channel. Uh, we did it on the old stove, and it almost turned bad. Uh, so we're going to do it this time, and hopefully we don't have the problems that we did last time. Last time... Uh, the kitchen tried to catch fire, so, but we had a rickety old stove that was just absolutely dangerous. It was a very, very bad stove. We got that one in there. I swear that's like, that's like a thousand times better than what we had. Nice tempered glass top and with uh, elements that just work a thousand times better. And I'm very happy with that. We might even throw in, uh, well, uh, with this salad, we're also going to have to make, well, it's a salad you can eat with your hands. You guys will be, you guys will love this. So we're going to have to make a dipping sauce, honey mustard, homemade, Prince Magnum's very own homemade honey mustard, not a joke. And if you were with us last night, we did an amazing, uh, we did an amazing surviving romance stream last night. Princess Faye did enjoy her hot, uh, her hot bubble bath and she enjoyed, um, her strawberries and her glass of red wine. She loved it. Loved it. I did not drink. <laughs> I had coffee as usual. You know, I had my coffee. It was good. Coffee was good. I made it just right this time. So, um, as we get ready to close out the, uh, the live stream again, if any of you got any questions, uh, any comments, uh, be sure to put them in the chat. If the, if it's already down and you think of them later, leave them in the comments box. Okay. Leave them in the comments box. It'd be totally fine. Um, I'll be glad to answer any possible question that I'm, uh, that I possibly can for you guys. All right. 
Appreciate y'all being here. It's been a wonderful stream. That brings us to the spot where I get to say, get out there and work on a project. I don't care what it is, just do something with yourself. Remember, idle hands and a creative mind go together like oil and water. If you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet and do something special for them today. And as always, for all of you out there, if no one out there has told any of you that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24. Thank you.